Spring is peak time for runoff in Maine. Melting snow and heavy rain mixing with pesticides and fertilizers, but seasonal lawn chemicals can cause long-term impacts on local watersheds. Will Everright, the interim director at Friends of Casco Bay, says conditions of the bay have been less than ideal when looking at studies about such chemicals entering the waterways. Uh, Stormwater, of course, washes waters off our lawns and our streets uh, ends up into the bay. So we sampled all around the bay, 13 communities around the bay. Every place that we sampled, we found uh, pesticides. Um, and this was a sampling for presence or absence. Some of the latest data showed a fairly even split between sewage runoff and deposition. But that still means a lot of pollution from runoff going into the bay. However, local steps to help are being taken. Portland's ordinance is based on South Portland's, but South Portland's ordinance too, they recently added uh, fertilizer uh, components to that ordinance. And it's a really groundbreaking ordinance. It says, hey, uh, we want to protect soil health. Adding um, pesticides and fertilizers to your soil uh, is, is, isn't making the soil healthy and it's not making the, protecting the bay. In fact, Maine is only one of a handful of states in the country that allow local authorities to control regulation of pesticides. Fertilizers can also produce widespread growth of certain things we don't want in the bay. Huge mats of algae that grow, bloom, and die. And when they die, they suck oxygen out of the water uh, and uh, change the chemistry of the water. Now the coastal waters around Casco Bay are not the only bodies of water impacted. Across southern Maine, we have very lush marshlands that certainly won't appreciate the chemical runoff. Never mind the beautiful wildlife here that will certainly take a big hit over the next several years. The impacts that we're talking about aren't seasonal. They're more long-term. So over time, as more nutrients um, are introduced into the system, you start to see the marsh degrading a bit and all of a sudden you'll start stepping on something that feels a little squishy and your feet start to break through that surface and that could be an indicator of nitrogen inputs and a lack of that below ground biomass. So while more data is needed to diagnose the full scope of the problem, it is a good reminder to be courteous when greening up those lawns. There's lots of different things that communities can do to protect their marshes, one of which is reducing that stormwater, and the other is restoring the marshes to their natural functioning state. And those things combined, hopefully, will allow these systems to persist into the future.